We are a panel organized by Volksbund Deutsche Kriegsgräberversorge from Germany, together in cooperation with the Pierre Werner Institute from Luxembourg here. And we have an online uh, audience uh, from across Europe and maybe also from across the Atlantic. Uh, and uh, we would like to talk about 75 years after World War II. How do we look back and what is the present day perspective on this uh, uh, period? The capitulation was also a liberation uh, for uh, Germany. And he also told Germans to accept their past and not to uh, kind of uh, belittle uh, Nazi uh, crimes. And that wasn't unproblematic because I think that we shouldn't forget when we talk about 75 years afterwards that for a long time there was a Cold War going on. And that shaped the commemorative uh, culture. We paid a high price here in Europe with two, uh, two totally devastating wars. Um, uh, in order that, uh, that actually we, we learned the lesson. Time has passed, not only from World War II, but also World War I, uh, which you know, ended uh, over 100 years ago. Um, and so, yes, um, of course, uh, I mentioned, mentioned uh, the maintenance of the cemeteries, the services to the families, but another part of the uh, ABMC's mission is actually telling the story. The other part of remembrance is remembering that this is possible in any age, um, under any circumstances, and uh, it only takes a few actors to uh, decide that they want something that they don't have. To think that we're in, a, we're in a moment of relative peace, and I'm thankful for that, but I think you always have to be wary, and that's part of remembrance, is knowing that these things happened before and they could very well happen again. Mm -hmm. So commemoration, I think, is um, in, in terms of peace, biding, is a double-edged sword, especially if combined with military parades, as it still uh, often is. And then um, maybe one should also make a distinction between commemorations, official commemorations, which are very political in nature, and collective memory, which is then something very personal or intergenerational, uh, which you find in the arts, in museums, in films, in video games. And there the question is, is peace there the combining element? Or again, is peace something that is not necessarily conveyed by those media that commemorate the war? Mm -hmm. How many forces do I need for a good chance to defend my country? But those days are gone. I mean, for heaven's sake, they're gone. <laughs> it's yeah. good. But it doesn't make it easier from a military point of view because you do not know what will come next. Mm -hmm to go to these smaller villages and see that they still remember and they have American flags and Luxembourg flags up on the uh, light posts. These are memories that um, for us make it easier um, to operate as, as Americans, to remind people that there's a long shared history and whatever may happen in the short term, there are these longer, closer ties. And so that's been very important. It's not just um, um, European integration, which, uh, which, uh, which was uh, uh, not possible without uh, American support. Maybe even the very survival of Western Europe as a free mm -hmm, half-continent mm -hmm. uh, would have been at stake without the Americans staying in Europe. Learning, perhaps, um, some of the stories of these uh, generally young men and women uh, mm. buried in the cemetery coming from all 50 states. Uh, all 50 states um, are represented at the cemetery. Volksbund organizes a lot of these uh, youth camps in the border regions uh, of yes. uh, Germany and Central Europe, uh, involving Poland, involving the Netherlands, uh, Belgium, uh, also Luxembourg, uh, etc. And this is, of course, a deliberate effort. Do you see this could make a real contribution uh, to uh, uh, call it reconciliation, peace building, uh, preservation of uh, liberal democracy, etc. in the long run. Once you live in another country, once you meet other people, you learn far more than you can read from books or can read in newspapers or watch on TV. So meet the people, talk to them, um, and that is exactly what we do in the youth camps. Uh, not only with youth camps, we also bring together, if possible, uh, soldiers who actually clean together, for example, headstones, and you know, we have Germans and Poles together on a on a war cemetery in Poland, and it does not only send us a, a very symbolic 
message, uh, which is necessary, of course. Um, but they get to know each other. And, um, and it changes the way you look at other people. Jean-Claude Juncker, probably many years ago, but this, this is something I, I will never forget. Uh, he once uh, 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 said to somebody who was very critical about the European Union, if you have any doubts about uh, the European Union and the European integration process, go to a war cemetery. <laughs>